welcome to my Twin Flame journey. I'm Shine, and this is going to be a weekly reading for the Divine Feminine in the sign of Pisces. This is going to be the overview for the week of August 24th through 31st. What is the overall theme or overview for the week? What is the situation at hand? Strength. So she's obviously needing to have strength, show strength this week. <laughs> Let's see what's, what's coming in. Why is she needing to have this? Um, how is she currently feeling about herself at the moment? How is she currently feeling? Communication. So... Maybe she's hoping for some communication, or she's hoping to be able to have communication with most likely the divine masculine. So she's hoping to have the strength. She's going to need the strength in regards to a conversation, probably. Um, how should she feel? change so she should be preparing for change or open to change <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry what is uh, her current challenge hidden enemy Oof. <laughs> that's why she's going to need strength <laughs> Well, she's about to get some communication from a hidden enemy. A challenge, heartbreak. I mean, home. Three cards had popped out. Usually one is supposed to be there, but we got three. So her challenge this week, or the lesson, you know, is in regards to some heartache that she's experienced with this person here, which is probably the Divine Masculine, in regards to their home life, their own situation, or she needs to be open to change how she feels about this, to heal this so that things can move forward. You know, this is her challenge or the lesson. Um, it might be the lesson being, you know, how do I open open my heart up to this person again after they've done this to me, you know, or how, if they behaved in this way. You know, all is a lesson. All is a lesson. And how should she approach the situation at hand? The lovers. You know, this is union, relationship. This is also in the traditional tower way to head over heart decision um, you know but she needs to approach this in a way that's logical obviously um, I would also use her heart because you know she's aware of the union she's aware of most likely the lessons that have haven't been learned, you know, so it's to be open to, you know, a new beginning by using your head and your heart, I think. You know, because sometimes when we use our heart too much, we end up in bad situations. And I always say, follow your heart. I don't always agree with that because I followed my heart many times and it's not turned out well. <laughs> times that I should have used my head or my intuition um, but if you use the head too much you know you can also stay in fear based things anxiety, worry about you know thinking about so much the past or worried about the future you know not being present you know so maybe there is to be some balance here that's how she should approach it from both a logical but also you know have compassion have 
be open, open your heart chakra. Like use both in regards to this. I'm going to clarify this row anyway. Um, but let's go here. What does she hope? Yeah, it's the lesson. She's hoping that the lesson has been learned. She's hoping that, you know, she can release the heartbreak from the hidden enemy, you know, in regards to what happened with them or opening her home back up to the, and her heart back up to this person. You know, she's hoping that, you know, the lessons have been learned because she's learned hers. I can speak for myself, you know, in order for a new beginning. You know, she's hoping things work out for the better. You know, regardless, either on your own or together, you know, she's she's hoping for a new beginning all around. You know, the lessons have been learned and, and she can evolve and ascend and move forward on her divine path. What does she fear? Power. Now she can fear losing her independence, losing, you know, how she's changed, you know, stepping back into old patterns, like if things repeat, like falling back into the old ways, you know, and she's, she's again, hoping that that doesn't change, you know, that that doesn't happen. She's hoping that there can be a new beginning and so maybe she's fearing, or she's fearing that maybe she can't open her heart back up. She can't, change how she feels about him like maybe it was too too great like the pain was too great so that could be it as well we shall see when i when i clarify now when the divines masculines read i went straight to these and then i clarified but i think maybe it's better to clarify these first we live and learn <laughs> and then we'll move down to this this advice um, for the strength, what does the divine feminine Pisces, what does she need to have the strength for? What is the strength? What is the strength? Why is strength needed this week? Why is strength needed this week for the divine feminine? Why is strength needed? Thank you. Rebecca Senora. This is somebody from the past. So she's needing strength dealing with somebody from the past. Strength. Somebody from the past and being able to look towards the future. She's going to need the strength again to try to change maybe the way she feels about him because of what happened. You know, this is why she's needing the strength because this is like maybe decision week or something's got to be, a decision has to be made, the lovers. You know, it's like well, what to do. Communication. How does she feel about herself? Communication. Communication. How does she feel? She feel? she feels is, you know, in regards to this communication, you know, that she gets sacerdote, so he's like the priest, the healing, spiritual, um, falsita, you know, she's going to need the strength in regards to this communication that she's going to get or wanting to get to, to resolving how she feels to heal, you know, the deception, the falseness that was with this hidden enemy here and the heartache that she felt. Change. Change. 
she's wanting to have hope and persevere in the situation. And she's hoping that, that, that change can happen. What is the challenge? What is her challenge? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really tired. <laughs> it's, it's late, I'm sorry. I, I space out a bit. What is her challenge? Yeah, the message from a distance in regards to the hidden enemy and the heartbreak in the home. You know, she's 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 getting something. She's gonna have to have the strength to deal with this false situation. You know, sacerdote can also mean um, marriage, or some kind of union, false union, communication about a false union um, from a distance from the hidden enemy. Uh-oh. <laughs> and this is the lovers in regards to how should she approach the situation. How should she approach the situation? Emmanuel. This is union, marriage, commitment, strong bond. Ren Signore. Man about town, this must be the divine masculine. Letterato, a man of letters, someone that's thinking of what to say or thinking of what to do. So, how she should approach the situation, you know, there, should, there needs to be a decision in regards to this union and the divine masculine. And um, she's trying to figure out. What's going to happen with this? What's going to happen with them? Like it's, it's like decision week. Revelations and decisions having to be made. What does she hope? Muerte. Transformation. Again, she's hoping that the lesson has been learned. She's hoping that there can be a new beginning, that things can be transcended and transformed for the better. And this is what she's hoping for. What does she fear? Pensiero, thinking person. You know, she's thinking a lot about the relationship. What happened? You know, I mean, it's, it's depressing. <laughs> you know, she fears, you know, not making the right choice. So she feels that she'll end up like depressed again in this situation. She'll fear that she'll deny this is something precious, something of value, that, you know, she'll lose something of value, her value of something, um, by making a foolish choice. You know, she fears that by entering into this again, this dealing with his hidden enemy and the heartbreak that he causes and the lies and deception, you know, she's fearing that that it's too much, you know, that's too it's too much to deal with. And she's trying to figure it out, you know. She's she's worried that she'll just end up depressed and maybe broke. <laughs> maybe it's a you know, codependent situation or that she'll lose, you know, what she's gained since they've been separated, her independence. Uh, or that she'll just, the relationship will fizzle out or it won't manifest into anything. You know, she, she's thinking about it. She's worried about it. And it's, she doesn't want to be depressed. Nobody wants to make foolish choices. You know, they want new beginnings. They want transformation. They want 
better things. But she's obviously this week going to have to have the strength to deal with all of this communication, revelations, decisions that need to be made, and so forth. Now, what is the universe's advice for her? Finances and career. See, the Denari. Sharon, <laughs> she's... Maybe the Masson's going to break her bank or something. Uh, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Now, they're always encouraging both of them to get on their path, to stop focusing on what it is that they came here to do. And, you know, most likely both of them need to work on this. This is part of why they're here. You know, what is their divine mission? Whether they're together or not, you know, she needs to get on this. You know, this is mainly why she's here. Why you incarnate here is, is based on the lessons and the karma that you need to shed. What you came here to do as far as your divine path. And the twin flame relationship is like the bonus. You know, it's... It's not easy, it's a lot of work, but the, the rewards are fabulous spiritually and hopefully if it can get through everything on the earthly realm as well, it will be rewarding and all the best, you know, the divine union. But this has got to be a priority because this is what you came here to do, you know, what your life work mission is. So they want you to focus on that. And they want you to know that it's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So don't worry. Don't stress too much. You know, hey, you're going to have to have the strength because now it's like everything's coming to a head. Everything's, it's now a critical, pivotal moment in regards to this union. If it's going to move forward or if it's not going to move forward. And that depends on the, both of them, how far they are in their growth, and, and can they come together and forgive and, and learn the lessons and, and move forward. You know, they're trying to let you know that everything happens when it should, and that when this comes along, you know, just know that the universe is, is backing it. It's rooting for the two of you because it feels like that you're both now ready to take the relationship to the next phase. It was, it was all worth waiting for. And that it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Again, this is what her fearing here, you know, what her challenge was, is to open her heart to the hidden enemy again, you know, and they're telling you that it's safe. You know, there's, he's probably going to do some revelations and, and tell you some things that you might not have known and be open and receptive to what he says because he most likely is, is grown in the separation as well. And he's going to let you know all of that. And they want you to know that... You know, to take it to heart what he says in your decision making. You know, to keep an open mind, to keep an open heart and know and honor each other's journey. And the other advice is recovery. Again, this is getting back something that you lost. You know, because the two of you were separated. And now you have an opportunity to, to recover what was lost. And also to recover from the pain from the past so that you can move forward, heal. You now heal. Sacerdote. And this is the water crystal oracle. And this is from the guy who Mar. Masaru Emoto, sorry if I mispronounce it, 
you know, where he froze water crystals um, by speaking certain words or playing certain music and you know the different formations happened. And this one from advice from the universe is wisdom. I want you to have peace of mind. Don't stress about this so much because you know thoughts are energy, words are energy. Remain positive in the situation. Basically, to have peace of mind, you gain wisdom in regards to this. Let me check in the book and see if there's anything extra that it says. This was wisdom, peace of mind. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Boy, getting older. <laughs> you definitely notice things changing. Peace of mind, these are the cards of wisdom. Um, and it has to always to do with love and gratitude, having love and gratitude in this situation. The most important words in the world are peace of mind. It is important to have peace of mind in your livelihood, place of work, education, and environment. So again, don't positive thoughts. Think positively. You know, that lessons have been learned, that things can transform. You know, don't get all in your thoughts fearing, fearing the worst. Um, recover from all of that pain because it was all worth waiting for it's divine timing be at peace it's safe for you to love we're going to need some strength this week because we're going to be getting some news a blast from the past <laughs> coming to reveal their deceptions but it's good it shows growth and honor that growth. They try to look at things from a spiritual perspective, not so much a 3D one, you know, holding on to that, realize that, you know, the masculine is also healing, is also growing, and for him to do whatever he's doing is a big step for him. You know, and just be open to it. But be wise. We'll take things slow. But that is the message for the Divine Feminine for the sign of Pisces. And it's for the week of August 24th through the 31st. And I thank you again for joining me. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Blessings. Bye.